Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to the Sims 4 Luxury Party Stuff Pack Overview and Giveaway. If you stay tuned till the end of the video, I'm going to be giving away two copies of the Sims 4 Luxury Party Stuff Pack because I am so excited and I just can't hide it. I'll try though. I will try to calm down, but I was like screaming prior to filming this. Typically in my overview videos, I always ramble a lot because I am giving also my first impressions. So if you're somebody who just wants to see all of the content in its glory, in the description bar down below, I will leave like an annotation link to the part in the video where you can skip to. Yeah, that's about it. Let's jump into it, shall we? All right, so here we are in Create a Sim. I personally love to start off with the hair right off the bat because it's my favorite. I'm going to filter items, content, packs, luxury party, here we go. So here is the first hair, which is so, so gorgeous. Okay, I could do this. I very much like this. I'm going to put it in this color. So you guys can see all of the details in its glory. Truly magnificent. Reminds me of like a princess. I really, really like it. It's probably one of my new favorite hairs. Here is the second one, which kind of reminds me of Snooky's hair. This <laughs> hair right here, which is gorgeous. Wow. Wow. Immaculate. I really, that's the best way I can describe it with all these little immaculate, magnificent. This hair is, I can imagine like a middle-aged woman <laughs> going to some gala and she needs to get all dressed up and she just throws this up and I just really, really like it. Then there is this hair. Wow. Okay. Very impressive. I love this. I'm in love. If I could do this to my hair, which I totally cannot, <laughs> can barely brush my hair, I would do this. Magnificent. <laughs> so beautiful. Really, really cute. I think I'm going to leave her hair up in this like bun so we can see all of the accessories and clothing in its glory. There's no new hats, accessories. There has to be some new accessories. Um, Let's see, okay. So we have these new earrings right here. Oops, take that necklace off. These new earrings, which are quite snazzy. And oh my gosh, they're gorgeous in silver. Wow, that's really cool. Also gorgeous in the baby blue. In the silver though. That's really, really beautiful. Wow. All right, on to necklaces. We have this like diamond cut necklace, which once again, I think in silver, it looks so nice. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Ooh, I really like it in this color combo. I just think the silver jewelry looks so, so good. Then we have this necklace, which is gorgeous, very elegant, something I swear. Like, I wanna I wanna have a fancy necklace like this. Never will. That's too expensive, I'm sorry. Wow. Oh, I love that color, whatever that is. Gorgeous, like periwinkle. Is that what that is? I don't know. Really cute as well. So far, everything is really nice. This looks like, I don't know, I feel like this would be in Divergent. Some Hunger Games. It's very different. <laughs> very different. There is new makeup, I which like I'm very excited about. My complaint when The Sims 4 came out, I was like, there's not enough makeup, and they're definitely improving with all of that. So let's go ahead and check this out. We have this aquatic green color. This is kind of cool. Ooh, I like it in this color combination right here. Huh. Okay. Oh, wow. This I very, 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 very much like. So cute. It's like a cat eye eyeshadow. I really like that. <laughs> oh, this one's like sparkly and that's kind of cool. Ooh. It's very cool. 
Oh, I love it. And this color right here, it reminds me of like a mermaid that I like. Okay, so here's some eyeliner. This is different. Um, um, maybe paired with like the right, oh, this is eyeshadow? Oh, I guess this is classified as eyeshadow. Never mind. Um, maybe with like the right eyeliner, like something like this, it would work. But alone, I don't see myself using that. <laughs> but like I said, paired up with the right eyeliner, it could look very, very cool. Okay, so let me take the eyeliner off. Here's the final eyeshadow, which is magnificent. Why am I using all these really glamorous words? Magnificent, immaculate. But no, I think this eyeshadow is very nice. All right, and now onto the eyeliners, my favorite part. We have this winged out eyeliner, which, oh my gosh, that's so cool. They put like blue underneath of it. That's pretty, pretty neat. They put some yellow underneath, some silver, green, pink, which I like the pink, some more pink, some purple, some white. Um, This is really cool. And of course you have the option to just do the eyeliner without all of the funky colors underneath of it, which is pretty neat, but I do kind of like the the pop of color. I think that's quite cute. And another winged eyeliner, which the difference is right here in the corner. This one kind of gets dragged in all the way, and this one, the wing is a little bit different and it doesn't get dragged into the corners, which I prefer this wing a little bit more. And of course, we get all these funky colors for funky people. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. With this lipstick. <gasps> yes. Yes. That purple. Mm-hmm. That. Uh, mm, okay, next. I love the ombre effect. This looks like custom content lipstick. They did a really, really good job. Ooh. Wow. <gasps> wow, this purple. This purple is so awesome. All right, and now we have like a two-toned lipstick. Wow. Ombre lips. S the purples. The purples are blowing me away. Personally, this is my favorite eyeliner, my favorite lipstick, and my favorite eyeshadow is probably the cat liner. I just really like it. <laughs> or even this one. I don't know. It's hard to say. I really love the makeup so far. Or, well, I like the makeup. I like all of it, I guess. Um, I'm gonna say this is probably my favorite so far. Okay, I can't believe we're already in the clothing, but let's go ahead and check this all out. So for everyday wear, we'll check out the dresses first. Here is the first one with a gorgeous cut open back. So pretty. Wow. Wow, I really love this color combination. I'm really impressed, you guys. I'm really, really impressed so far. Here's this dress, which um, it's cute. It's very cute, but I think I like the other one better. Ooh, no, I love this in black. This in black, very nice. <laughs> okay. Here's more of like a sporty, fun sort of dress. Super cute. <laughs> Shut up. This dress right here, this is so me. I would devour, I would eat this dress. I would put it away as leftovers and eat it again. Yep, yep, this is, this is my sort of dress. <laughs> with the cutouts on the side, the deep plunge in the back. I am so in love with this dress. Very nice, very nice. All right, and the final dress is right here, which I would say this would be a pretty cool wedding dress. Um, 
I don't like this dress as much as I like the other ones. I think the detailing on the back, that's really, really nice. But I, I like, um, I don't know, there's just something about it that isn't fancying me too much. Maybe if like the, um, the braiding right here went down a little bit lower, I think I would like that. But definitely, out of all these dresses, this one's my favorite. <laughs> I think it's so cute. All right, and on to the tops. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This top. I am so impressed. But this top, yes. 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 And this top actually reminds me, for those who bought a lot of the Sims 3 store content, it reminds me of the top that came with Dragon Valley. You guys know what I'm talking about? It does. And then here we have a blazer that deep plunges and it's also gorgeous in this color combination. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am like, you guys probably are going to hear a lot of, oh my goodness, that is so cute because I am seriously in love. This right here, so cute, so flipping cute. All right, now we're going to do pants. I'm going to take her top off so we can look at these. Okay, they're like sparkly sequins on the side, which is pretty cool. Um, and they fit pretty well for skinny jeans. They fit pretty well. And then we have these high-waisted pants, which I love high-waisted everything. So this is, um, this makes me very happy. All right. Very, very cute. Um, let's go ahead and put this top with this pants so we can see how that looks. Because I'm assuming this is kind of how these are supposed to be paired up. Do it with like that. Or maybe not. Like, whoops. Like this. Pretty freaking cute. And now let's go to the blazer pants that I assume were made for the outfits. Super cute, very, very nice. But I'm going to throw on this right here uh, just so we can check the shoes out really quickly. So let's see, let's go into luxury party and check the shoes out. So here we have these pumps, which they're cute, but I tend to not use pumps like this. I don't know why, um, I just tend to use different pumps. There's these, which kind of remind me of, like, shoes I would wear to prom or something. But still very cute. Then these right here, which are seriously so cute. These are my favorite. <laughs> very, very nice. And this color combination, like the nude and gold, super cute. All right. Oh, that's really nice, too. That color combination, like the blue um, and gold. I'm going to do accessories really quickly go into luxury party and there's only two new accessories which are this little bangle thing right here which comes in an array of color kind of reminds me of bamboo I don't know why and we also have another set of bangles right here so yeah those are the accessories um without a doubt my favorite accessory are these earrings right here I'm really quickly going to put my chick in this dress because I'm so in love with it. I think it is just to die for. And um, put these cute little shoes on her. Yeah, so cute. So these are all my favorite objects or items on my sim right now. In case you guys are wondering, this is it. This is my ideal outfit right here. Ideal here, here, <laughs> ideal hair and makeup and accessories and shoes. However, I think this hair just goes so well with um, with outfits. So yeah, that is all of the young adult woman content. We're going to head into young adult males really quickly and check out what they got. Let's see. All right, so heading into the clothing attire, we have two new tops. We have this right here, which is a really funky vest color combination shirt thingy majiggy. 
Like, wow, that is pretty freaking funky right there. I would definitely say so. But um, I really like that. It's not boring. It's boom in your face. So I'm, I'm a really big fan of this color combination. And I think this vest is so cute. It's very flamboyant, which is so me. <laughs> so I really like it. And then we have this blazer and v-neck sort of thingy. Okay, wow. Wow, that is pretty. Very glamorous and boom. Boom, boom, boom. Got that boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. I'll stop. But um, yeah, I, I'm not really a fan. I'm gonna be real and just say I'm not really a fan of the paint splatters except on this color combination and this one and that one. Other than that, I'm not really feeling it on the rest of them. I wish they would have had the blazers without that because I think the shirt underneath of it is really, really cute. And full body outfits, we have two new full bodies. We have this right here, which is, it looks like um, grass. Purple grass. Or magenta grass, purple grass, red grass, brown grass, black grass, blue grass, yellow grass, gray grass. This reminds me of like pixels. I do like it in the in the gray, just this gray. But other than that, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of it. And then we have like this bedazzled suit right here. Ooh, I love it in the silver. I love it in the black. Okay, whatever color this is, like a light baby blue. Mm-hmm, yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think this is my favorite outfit so far. No new accessories. Um, oh, right, I didn't even go to the hair yet. I'm sorry. No new um, clothing accessories. And for shoes, we got new, two new pairs of shoes. We have these ones right here, which are like little loafers. Which are pretty cute. Kind of remind me of like elf shoes, which, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't mind personally. And then we have these right here. which have like a little design on them. All right, let's head into the hair and see what we got. Okay, wow. Kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z. Then there's this hair, which is very Mortimer Goth to me. Also really, really cute though. I wouldn't mind this. And then this hair right here, which I think, I think we all need. It's like a little swoop up in the front. I, I like all these hairs because they're very much in style. It's not like they're outdated or anything. They're well made. And I think I think they're doing really, really good job on the hair in The Sims 4. The Sims 3, I was like, wow, okay, I would never use that. And no new accessories, no new hats. And makeup, is there new makeup? No new makeup for the men. Any new facial hair? Eh? Eh? No new facial hair. Any new tattoos? I did not ta check tattoos. <gasps> there is new tattoos. I got excited. Nope. That's okay. Okay, well, that's it for the men. I'm going to check out children. I doubt that there's new children stuff, but we can always check. Maybe there is, maybe I'm wrong. Nope, doesn't look like it. New hairs for them. Can they use those hairs? Nope. Maybe when they're teenagers, they can. I believe when they're teenagers, they can, yeah. So that's pretty much all the same. And I'm sure it's the same for the young adult females as well. Okay, well, for the most part, that's all of the content we received. Uh, the female clothing goes a little bit above and beyond compared to the male clothing, which I mean, <laughs> I ain't complaining. Okay guys, and here we are in build mode. So let's go ahead and check out the newest content that we have received. Um, I'm going to filter this to luxury party. Let's go ahead and check it out. What the heck? What the heck? I was expecting a lot more than this. <laughs> We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 new items. Woo, a whopping 12 items. Let's go ahead and check them out, though. Before I judge, before I judge, let's check out the 12. 12, guys. Keyword here, 12. 
<laughs> new items. Okay, so here is the chairs. Um, these are actually very nice. Um, big fan. Okay, yes. Yes. These look like something um, in a Sweet 16 party. The pink ones. That's I would love those. But the color combinations are actually quite nice. I think the chairs are really cute. I think this would be a great touch to really any party. Even a wedding. I think these would look really good at. Okay, and then we have like this little ottoman, which we get it in the same color selections. Does this say ottoman? Yes. Ottoman, see, I was like, is this a coffee table or an ottoman? I was kind of confused, but cute. Um, then we have this glimmering table right here, which you use like this obviously it's a table hello I didn't want you guys to think it's like a side table or something I mean it can be if you want it to be but um I think the table is very cute actually I think it's my favorite thing so far with the sequence and everything I don't know I'm into stuff like that <laughs> but very cute and then here is some bar stools I hope I'm showing this to you guys I'm trying to do it in like a decent lighting here this lighting's a little bit better here's the bar stools in the color variations. Like I said, it's pretty much all the same color variations. And then we have a boom. What is the Oh, a boom cube. What do these do? The boom cube is a perfect surface or series of surfaces. If the cube, it is a cube after all, blah, blah, blah. Eat on it, but only if you're going to be daring enough to do it. And don't leave things on it. Such behavior deems on the whatever, whatever. So I guess this can be a table if you wanted it to be. You can eat on it. Can you, like, put chairs up to it? I don't know. We're going to have to test those out because I'm not quite sure what exactly they do. Here is the new bar. Okay, yes. Oh, yes. I'm a big fan of the new bars. The colors are awesome. I really like them. Um, here is the Fountain of Mirth. I don't have a table to place it on yet. Oh, yes, I do. Here is a table, right? Is this a table? Can I put it on it? Yes, I can. So cool. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this right here, I believe. Yeah, maybe. This is where you put the Fountain of Mirth, which it comes in different color variations. I will show you really quickly. Like so. Very cool. And then this table, I believe, is what you put it on, which the color variations for this, very, very cool. I think my favorite's this one. You can kind of you know, spice it up a little bit, like so. Um, yeah, that's probably my favorite. Can you put chairs up to this? No, you cannot. Can I put these up to it? Maybe. Maybe. I don't have to check that out. Um, it probably wouldn't make sense, but just in case, we'll check it out. Here is the buffet table. I believe you can also... I believe these are both buffet tables, actually. So you have, like, you know, you can select which one you like better. This is pretty cute. This would be really nice at a wedding right here. Maybe this is a little bit more for a bar scene. This is really... Very nice, very, very nice. All right, and the rest of them I need to build a wall for. I might as well just build like a little room. Oh, we actually received a VIP luxury room and a whimsical selectional. Okay, I'm gonna buy this room and place it right here. Here is the whimsical, what is it called again? Whims whimsical selectional. Here's this room, so you can get like a little glimpse of it. And here is the Lux VIP room, which it's pretty freaking cool, if I do say so myself. All right. And, you know, you can get um, a glimpse at the wall items here. We have these wall drapes, which do come in different color variations, of course. Which I really like these. Ooh, yes, honey. <laughs> that aqua blue, aqua green, whatever it is, I like it. I also really like the red. Reminds me of, like, movie theaters. and Yeah, I like that. Those are nice. 
And then we have these statues right here, which also come in different colors, which is always nice. And then we have these wall panels of course come in different colors <gasps> Ooh! oh no that red got dark <laughs> i thought it was gonna be that bright i was like wow that's really nice okay so we have some different wall panels as well and i believe that is it i believe those are all the new items um that we received however i do want to test this out for you guys really quickly so i'm going to build a little room just a little room <laughs> And I'm going to show you guys how I guess um, the buffet and fountain of mirth would work. Okay, so really, really quickly, I put together this room. It's not exactly immaculate, but it's something. So I'm going to fill the fountain. Okay, okay, this is where I start to freak out. So we can fill the fountain with cheese. Oh my goodness, chocolate. Oh my goodness, fruit punch and sparkling apple juice, which you have to unlock this by getting your level, your mixology skill to a level three and your cooking skill to a level four. And then this you need to, or you can, I guess, serve everything. Serve almond macaroons, ceviche and chips, roast chicken, sausage and peppers, and vegetable tempura. Okay, that's freaking awesome. And you can also serve it all for 250 simoleons, which I'm going to have my chick go ahead and do. Oh my goodness, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. This is what I live for, guys. Here is the almond macaroons, and they're all, like, glittery and beautiful. Not sure what that is. That's the chips and vegetable, or... What is it all again? I forget. Okay, the almond macaroons, the sausage and peppers, the vegetable tempura, um... Ceviche and chips, and back there is the roast chicken, which these meals are awesome. I think, especially the chicken, if you're like hosting a really formal family dinner or something, I think a roast chicken on the table would be a really good idea. And we're going to fill the fountain with chocolate. Here she is with the chocolate. How cool. So she's going to grab a chocolate covered strawberry. So freaking cool. Okay, so I wonder if she's gonna get a cool moodlet or something because of this. Here she is eating her strawberry. She put down the strawberry. She put down a strawberry covered in chocolate. How does, how does that work? Oh, he's grabbing one too. So she finished her strawberry and she didn't get a new moodlet, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to have her grab, oh, did she? Oh no, she doesn't. She's going to grab a serving of the almond macaroons and he's going, ooh, I'm sorry, I have a hiccup. He's gonna come grab some roast chicken. See how these look on the plates? Here is the roast chicken. I really think that would be so cute. Like, especially when Seasons comes out and we have like Thanksgiving and stuff or something relatable to it, like a feast. I think that'd be a really good touch in the almond macaroons. I mean, they're macaroons or macaroons, however people pronounce them. I know it's pronounced different ways. Very cool. I just, throwing parties have now been upgraded. My very next part of Get to Work, we are throwing a freaking party because I'm excited. <laughs> And um, I would love to, you know, go over there and put all that cool stuff in there. But I don't have the, the skill. Is there any new drinks? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. And I also wanted to show you guys these really cool cube thingies. As you can see, you can make, like, cool things like this that kind of look like dance floors. Maybe you could put it in a shape of a dance floor. Like, move it around in, like, a big square. And then make the middle of it, just, you know, clear it out and put like a little, you know, like a, a, a radio in there. And then your Sims could like dance in the middle of all of the cubes. Your Sims can't dance on top of them. But I heard you can put stuff on them, like as a table, like so. Which is, um, I guess, pretty cool. 
Oh, look, look. She's, like, amazed. She's, like, in awe. She's, like, yes. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Hold it in, Christina. Hold it. Hold it in. Don't sneeze. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and empty the chocolate really quickly. And I'm going to fill the fountain with fruit punch, which, okay, yes, that fruit punch is gorgeous. Like, fruit punch. I'm over here saying fruit punch is gorgeous. It's that pretty. That's, that's so cool, man. That is so cool. Um, I think mm, Sims Have the Mischief skill can actually kind of mess this punch up. So really quickly, we're going to test that out. Okay, so he has acquired the Mischief skill. Unfortunately, I don't think he can do anything to the fountain yet. Uh, I believe as you enhance your Mischief skill, they can like spike it or something. I'm not sure. That'd be a little scary if like children could use this and then you kind of spike to the punch or something. That'd be a little scary. I'm not going to lie. It would be a little scary. But um, once again, I'm actually going to fill it with fruit punch and grab a cup of it. And here's here he is drinking some fruit punch. Just pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of the buffet table. I think it's way easier for parties. The fountain, let's be real. I, you know, things like this make me happy. <laughs> so I think all of this with the fountain and the buffet and all that, I think it's worth it for $10. I think the fountain, the buffet, and the clothing alone is worth it. Do we think the furniture is all that glam bam? No, not really. The furniture is not out of this world however i think the clothing options and the buffet table and the fountain of mirth definitely are other than that i do not think the um the buy mode stuff is all that great we also didn't get any new build mode objects so i mean for ten dollars i'm actually very impressed um you know compared to what we used to receive for ten dollars we've we've received a lot now is to give you guys a little chance to win a copy of this. I 
personally, like I said before, I think this is actually a really good stuff pack. It's a, it's a pretty good first stuff pack. Um, I'd love to see what we will receive in the future. Maybe baby stuff, stuff like that. I think that would be nice. I think we need it. But as for the very first stuff pack, I think they did a really good job. I'm actually very impressed. So to possibly win this, all you have to do is be a subscriber, thumbs this video up, and comment down below. Favorite thing in the stuff pack is, is it a clothing item? Is it a object? Is it the buffet table? Is it the fountain of mirth? My favorite is the fountain of mirth and the buffet table. I can't, I can't choose which one I like more. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you all so very, very much. And I will see you all next time. Okay, scary dude in the back. Great way to end the video. <laughs> Bye, guys.